हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू यू इन ए न्यू लेक्चर इन ए न्यू सेशन एंड इन दिस सेशन आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द मेजरमेंट ऑफ टाइम सो आई होप यू ऑल आर फेमिलियर विद द वर्ड लाइक टाइम वी नो व्हाट इज टाइम एंड व्हाट व्हाट आर द यूनिट्स हु इज अवेलेबल टू मेजर द टाइम्स and how it is how important it is in our life it becomes a i mean it is it becomes a very important part in our life okay in day to day life we always need need a, need to be need a work i mean clock who is uh, tell us the time because we we are, we all are um, running in very very curiosity while okay and we all need that our work uh, must be finished within a time that's why time became a very crucial part but the time what do we use now you know it, it is it is uh, known as i mean it is a atomic standard time so you can say that what sir you uh, you are talking about the atomic standard time uh, we listen i mean we know it is a international standard time so what is what do you mean by atomic standard time so basically uh, what you know and what um, to which you say it is time it is basically atomic standard time and atomic standard time means it is basically depend upon the vibration the frequency of an atom okay and what we um, i am talk, um, talking about that time is is a is a time which is the vibration of the cesium atom okay cesium atom here yeah, i will here represent the cesium cesium is an element which present in the um, periodic table uh, having the atomic number like 55 and you you can found uh, all these things uh, about the cesium atom when you go through the periodic table and oh, what i mean we what do we use in nowadays like different clocks we use for the measurement of time these all clocks uh, are basically depend upon the principle of the that cesium cesium atoms vibration i mean you can say cesium clock yeah yeah atomic clock so it is basically comes from the cesium clock yeah atomic clock so now we will discuss what is actually cesium clock and what is atomic clocks okay so before going to that i will introduce uh, you some basic idea about the atom how an atom uh, look like and what an atom contain so atom is basically at the structure of an atom is like that in its center uh, there is proton and neutron in the combined state uh, what we called nucleus okay the central part of an atom is called nucleus and it is the combination of proton and neutron and the the outermost and the the electrons which are revolving around the nucleus they always revolve around the nucleus so in different energy levels these are the energy level i will show you some the, let's let's see that the central part is the nucleus and there are different energy levels in which uh, electrons are revolving like uh, in the different level like uh, we say that is k l m n so there are different energy levels okay the first uh, which represent k is is say uh, is called the ground energy level it is the lowest energy level and when you move um, away from that you will found that l m and these are the higher energy levels okay so basically an atom is 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 like a um, is like our solar system okay the central in our solar system the central part is sun but here the central part is what nucleus and in our solar system um, different type of different planets revolve around the sun here electron revolve around the sun and uh, one more thing that in our solar system different orbit are also there in which different planets are revolving so similarly like here different energy levels are there in which different number of electrons revolve around that orbit now in the cesium atomic clock uh, one second i mean 
what we measure like what we use one second two second in in case of cesium clock one second is equal to this much of duration okay this much of duration vibration often of the radiation corresponding to the transition between the high hyperfin level of the ground state of the cesium 133 atom so don't worry i will um, explain um, more what it actually mean so nowadays what we say that 1 second 2 second basically it is in, in the cesium atomic clock 1 second means it is this much duration duration of this much vibration of radiation to the corresponding transition of the element transition of the electron from to hyperfin level of the cesium 133 atom so here uh, you think that what is transition what is the radiation okay so don't worry about that i will tell you what actually it so the transition means it is the it is the structure of an cesium atom so here the central part is the nucleus and different energy levels are there okay so um, so before we go we going to the detail of a uh, detail analysis of um, the one second in the cesium atomic clock one more thing i want to say paraffin hyperfin hyperfin means hyperfin means it is a small shift okay small shift in the splitting of the energy level these are the look one second these are the energy level so hyperfin means it is the small shift when these energy levels split into sub energy levels so one more thing um, one more thing you have to know that why these energy level get split because due to the interaction due to the interaction between the nucleus and the electron cloud electron cloud means uh, whatever uh, this is the central part okay so this is the electron cloud i mean the electron present in an energy level this this uh, these are called the electron cloud so when there is a in interaction between the nucleus and the electron cloud the energy level gets split into sub levels okay these sub levels or these the the small splitting or the shifting of the energy level is called the high paraffin level okay look at split into energy levels like this okay so due to the interaction between the nucleus and the energy level the electron present in the energy level you can say electron cloud it it is split into sub energy level different energy levels so this energy level is called high paraffin level so now comes to point our point that is one second in the cesium clock or atomic clock the one second is defined as the this much of duration okay this much duration of the vibration of radiation of corresponding to the transition between the two hyperfin level of the cesium atom means when an electron transition make its transaction transition means when it moves from one hyperfin level to another hyperfin level it emit some energy okay it emit some energy radiation this radiation at the this energy have some frequency or you can say vibration okay so the vibration uh, what i told you that this much of duration of this much of vibration not one vibration two vibration this much i mean nine close okay duration of this much of vibration means the time taken to vibrate this much of times okay is known as the duration of this much of vibration of the radiation i mean radiation means the radiated energy when an electron transit ya move from one hyperfin level to another hyperfin level so by this way we can calculate one second and what we use in the clock okay here you can find that how an electron can move from one energy level to another energy level the first one is the ground energy level okay and it moves from ground energy level to the energy level 2 so when it uh, 
मूव फ्रॉम वन लेवल टू एनर्जी लेवल इट एमिट सम एनर्जी और इट हैव सम वाइब्रेशन ओके सो दिस वाइब्रेशन आई मीन दिस मच ऑफ वाइब्रेशन द ड्यूरेशन फॉर दिस मच ऑफ वाइब्रेशन इज कंसीडर्ड एज वन सेकेंड नाउ द सेम एटॉमिक क्लॉक आर वेरी एक्यूरेट इट इज मोर एक्यूरेट सो दैट्स व्हाई वी कैन यूज दैट दैट कॉन्सेप्ट इन आवर नॉर्मल क्लॉक्स एंड सेम एटॉमिक क्लॉक इज नाउ प्रेजेंट इन द नेशनल फिजिक्स लेबोरेटरी विच इज एट न्यू दिल्ली ओके इट मेंटेन द वट यू से दट इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड टाइम और इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड टाइम विच इज लिंक टू द सेम एटॉमिक clocks and according to the cesium atomic clocks uh, our time is uh, going on